Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Yeah, not much changed here on the Matic chart. Price is still in support. I'm not confident about this yellow wave structure to the upside. This could easily um, just be an ABC structure. Yeah, something like um, most likely here one, uh, sorry, A, B, and then the C wave or WXY actually it would rather be. Um, but certainly a corrective move to the upside at the moment in three waves. Let me actually put that onto the chart as a WXY that works out better. WXY and that would be a different wave count. That would be the bearish one, um, which would then lead to another low in a wave two. Uh, again, just don't have much confidence in, in this anymore. Basically all the, you can call them profits or yeah, all the gains that were made after this uh, XRP news have been lost again. Basically we are where we were before and um, Based on that, nothing changed. Yeah, the chart still has only topped in three waves and we need the five waves to really have a confirmation that Matic has formed a lasting low on the 10th of June. If we get the five waves as indicated here in yellow, um, we can call that a wave one and then in a wave two pullback, we can provide the next trend reversal area here like this one, which was in green. Um, the, the problem I have with this is, I mean, I did provide support here, but highlighted in orange. So it's not really a reliable setup. It's more like, okay, let's wait and see if it finds support here. Because it's not a one, two setup. This is after three waves. There's always a risk. It will come down. Now it's still probably reasonable to expect some kind of a re, um, reaction in this support area, especially as Matic has reached the ascending trend line now of this wedge pattern. Um, so let's see if it will react to the trend line. Let's see if it will react to the 50% FIP level at 72.5 cents or 68.6. But so far it's coming down quite strongly. And I guess if Bitcoin now might do its B wave to the upside and Ethereum as well, then maybe Medic will react as well. But at the moment I just don't have a five wave move. So I cannot confirm that Matic has formed a lasting low on the 10th of June. Would have been nice to follow through here further to the upside and uh, you will remember from yesterday I made a I had to make a change to the wave count here because um, the way I had it already was basically invalidated and as I said to you with these diagonals you you cannot trust them you need to be ready for larger setbacks where you don't normally expect them um, yeah but what I see here potentially is either an ascending triangle that could be forming I mean that would be a bullish perspective therefore I'm highlighting here this trend line on the chart um, it's just that when you have a wave structure like that, which would only be a diagonal, which we have generally across the altcoin sector, not on every altcoin chart, but on many, then um, you can use other methods, of course, to get an additional edge. But I can tell you that many of the altcoins are just not looking good. They just don't look clear. So from that point of view, um, the, the lower degree is less certain. And the bigger picture, no change. Yeah, I mean, price was expected to go down lower here in this entire move down and it actually hit our trend reversal area so from that point of view it's all good just don't think you need to trade every single wave right i mean everybody always expect or many people always expect here to to uh, like a reliable forecast on every single wave that just doesn't you know that it's just not going to work out on um on many of these altcoin charts at the moment, especially not when they are moving in a diagonal. Mm -hmm. So you then need to focus maybe on the larger time frame. Just wait for the good setups. Bear in mind, a lot of time in, in trading is actually waiting for setups. There are traders who wait weeks for a setup, okay, or even months, some of them, which is a bit ridiculous. But uh, yeah, some, some wait for the high quality setups. And most of the time it's just analyzing and waiting. But we do a lot of the analysis work. But uh, therefore, it's absolutely only professional to tell you that this chart is less reliable at this stage. We only have a three wave move. And I think if it breaks below the trend line and then also loses the golden ratio here, which would make this wave four very un even more unreliable, even less reliable, then I think we're coming down here um, and test probably the 48 and a half cent level again. The green box will become relevant then. And below that, maybe 41.1. Um, so I myself, I took some profits of the position I took on the 10th of um, June here uh, when we had this rally here all the way up to around about 86 cents. I did explain that on or highlight that on Discord and Telegram. So I'm going to start accumulating a little bit again. Um, not much, you know, small altcoin positions because at the moment the risk I find is still quite high on these altcoins. But 
Um, overall, still bullish on Matic, given the bigger picture wave count. And um, so far, nothing, um, nothing too uh, bad happened to this chart. Yeah, that's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.